Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Fullcraft. We're going strong on here, back to back to back to back to back to back all the time. I want to thank you big time <laughs> for your support lately. Keep that up, smash that like button right now. The Docker King commands you to do so. <laughs> I'm glad you liked that little fun thing I did. If you haven't seen yesterday's episode, you should check it out, especially the end. <laughs> It's quite funny. And uh, yeah, Iskal was on just before. So far, we're looking good. No revenge yet. I don't know if he has figured out yet what I did um, there with the builder in his base and so on. Um, but I'm pretty he's a smart guy, you know, he'll figure it out. So, last time, um, let's head to the nether. We've been working on the ender killer thing and I wanted to make a Witter skeleton spawner set up there. And we, we did the right thing. I mean, we grabbed ourselves a spawner and uh, placed it there and it didn't spawn. So, yeah, that confused us a little bit. But thankfully, you guys are smart. And yeah, I was expecting the same thing, to be honest. But yeah, here we go. Now we have a skeleton spawner here. How did I do it? Well, I just uh, grabbed a regular spawner. Uh, regular skeleton spawner because the one we had was from one of the rogue dungeons and had uh, NBT tag on them to spawn special um, skeletons pretty much and therefore it kept it NBT tag when we moved it to the nether but yeah if you grab a regular skeleton spawner put it in the nether it will spawn with the skeletons at least you know in 90% of the cases and I've been trying the thing out a little bit oh yeah I got a lot of skulls now so now as we can get a lot of skulls here easily, I mean that thing is obviously in need, in dire need of some more automation and I'm thinking I need to try out um, if I can use a mechanical user with a cleaver like the one we got to behead them. If not, um, we might go a different route, um, just put a mob grinder there and uh, put looting on it also. So that'll work, but yeah, this thing works now you can switch it off here and it's all fine and dandy here and there it will spawn normal skeletons um, ten percent of the cases or so it will be normal skeletons and if somebody doesn't have the chronic armor he might be in a little bit of trouble here being shot because I you know can just walk in there and kill skeletons that might spawn back here somebody else might have a little bit of more trouble so we we gotta make this better but today I wanna work on um, yeah this guy here, and I wanna make it better. I wanna make it f yeah kind of fully automatic and instantly kill witters. And um, yeah, we need to clear out some space. And there is something really cool. Um, if you didn't figure out yet, I think Draconic Evolution is a pretty dang good mod. And yeah, we should be able to make this even cooler here. You know, automate things. That's fun right so um, yeah we need to clear some space below and we're gonna do something that is pretty cool um, there is custom portals in draconic evolution and we use one of these things dislocators there's also a teleportation device in draconic evolution uh, which is really good using one of those but you can shift click and now um, we set the coordinates for this thing right here and with this guy you can build um, yeah, a custom portal um, in Draconic Evolution and teleport stuff around instantly without lag and that obviously means um, we can build something really nifty to handle our witters here and yeah let me do some some digging out here and then you'll see where we're getting at with this guy but um, yeah I'm liking liking the idea a lot it's it's not even it's kind of necessary because you know when the witter spawns it does this big explosion so let's say we put mechanical users just back here right and spawn the witter there the mechanical users will break every time the witter um, yeah materializes or goes into his final shape or final form um, you better say so we gotta spawn him and then immediately transport them to a different location and for that we can use those draconic portals really well so um, man I have so much stuff on me already inventory is getting more and more cluttered and my bag is full <laughs> I've been dumping stuff in there all the time and now the bag starts to fill up uh, but yeah craft a lot of stuff so yeah let me do some digging and then we get to it 
All right, so um, what we need to make one of these fancy portals is the draconium infused obsidian. Crafted a bunch of that up and then we just build our portal here. One, two, one, two. And then we can remove the inner that was just so I know where to put stuff. Okay, and then you need one of those guys. It's a control unit pretty much for that thing. Boom, and then you click on there with your dislocator stone and now see what happens when I jump in there. Teleport it up here. And it should have the proper coordinates. No, the coordinates are not exact. We are teleported here. That is bad. Good we tried it out before. Um, need to get... Did I click it into the... I think I switched it on. How? Ah, okay, here it is. Okay, we need to make sure the coordinates are exact. So just standing here on the thing. Oh, can't I? Wait, let's... Ah, oh man, I can't delete it. Okay, so I have to make a new one. All right, let's do that real quick. All right, here we are again. And let me place some torches around. I think it's a bit dark for you watching just for now. So we have some lighting. So I guess it's you have to stand on it exactly, right? So, yeah, we are on it. Okay, now let's double check. It says x69, y120, and I'm looking at, uh, hopefully that's exact now. Yeah, I think that should work. Let's double check. Yeah, we're exactly on the block. That is where we need to spawn the Wither to. Alright, so that works. Good. Step one, successfully done. Now we need mechanical users. This guy goes here. This guy goes there. And let's fly up a bit. Boom. So this will spawn in a Wither right here if we load it with stuff. We need to clear some space behind here. Okay, what is that? Some quartz or something. So we can do our cabling here. And probably gonna use redstone conduits which I haven't made yet. Um, but we can always manually do that for now. So, okay, let's say this needs to be set to place block, use item on block on a random slot. Okay, let's um, set that to off. Okay, and the others also generic here, use item on block. This can be always on for now for our testing. Do a right click, yes. Play, activate, no, here. Use item on block. So that should be good. And those guys have to set, be set to place block. Place block. Place block. Place block. Okay. So now, let me get some soul sand. This is uh, crucial now. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. The Wither needs to be perfectly in in the spot. Otherwise, we're we're in a world of hurt right now, and we need to kill him quickly. But yeah, he can't kill us, but he will destroy a lot of stuff up there. So let's get some some soul sand a little bit for now, and then we'll try it out. I don't think he can escape bit of a risk. Let's put some in there. Okay. 
eventually will catch this. We can also, we later we set it to only use top left slot. Okay, he builds that and then one of those places it properly. Place it properly and now we're gonna manually place the last one and hope and pray everything goes right. Boom, he got teleported instantly and he's stuck. Nice. Okay. That works. That is already the first step. And he's, yeah, he's perfectly positioned. Awesome. Okay, so that's really cool. And now, you know, we did that to avoid his um, explosion damage. Now he ends up being teleported instantly up here and then does his, does his big boom and, you know, now we can, we can get him. Okay, that's cool. So, first problem solved. Oh, we got another special loot back here. Probably want to grab it. And also the star. Okay, what is it? A Randog loot bag. Oh, <laughs> see on. Probably want to go visit him and um, yeah, give him some of these. I have three of them. All right. So the widow will be right here. That means if we clear out a little bit of space here behind, not too much. And then we need a protective wall just to be sure. And then we should be able to do that. So here it might be better if we use this undestructible glass. That is reinforced glass, it's also waterproof. And it also looks a bit nicer. I have to make a bit more of it probably. But let's say we place that here as a protective wall. Okay, and then we need our mob grinder. And the mob grinder has a, a reach of, I think it's a 7x7 seven seven or something. So he should be able to take out the Witter instantly. It's a very powerful mob grinder. But it's gonna cost energy, so we also need to transfer energy to here or build a little setup then behind here to keep it running. Okay, let's see. Yep, that's facing the right way. And I think if we click on it with our wrench, we can actually see where it's doing stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah. See? We have this blue frame here now, that's the kill zone. So everything mob wise in there is is gonna gonna die. So it definitely catches the witter. Good. So now um we need some power to test that thing. Man, my inventory I need a trash can up here. Seriously. <laughs> um then we have the very basic setup already there, but I would love to automate it a little bit further. Um, automatically fill um, the item places here and, you know, press a button and that spawns the Witter, sends him up. And you can also do it with multiple. Even if you time it properly, we can send in a bunch of Witters. But the thing is, the way we have this set up, when we have two Witters in here and one explodes, there is a chance that one Witter gets bumped out. You know, it goes to, it's not lo no longer cat caught in here, and we don't want that. All right, so, good. Let's get energy and try it out. All righty, guys. So, first of all, we need to set this to upper slot only. And let's stack these guys, like a so. Upper left slot. Yeah, let's put a, a few in here. Upper left, upper left, upper left. Okay. And those guys, we will do the same. Upper left slot only. Okay. And then I made some, some redstone conduits. That is pretty much a bit more, yeah, a little bit uh, of a f more fancy uh, redstone. And yeah, now we also need to set these guys to redstone pulse. Right. So it only does it when we give it a pulse. And same goes for those guys on top here. OK, 
Okay. Boom. And now, let's see if we... They got teleport. Does it teleport items as well? Yes, it does. Okay, that's, that's actually good to know. Okay, um... Yeah, now let's have a temporary button back here. That should send a pulse in there. Okay, everything got placed, minus the heads. Good. So that works. Good stuff. Okay, let's see, how much space do I have top of them actually? Oh. Might have screwed up here a little bit, but yeah, it's fixable. I would have loved to have one more space up there, but we can fix it, no problem. Okay, now I brought a lever to put on that thing for now, and I have this guy here. Power. Okay, that thing is hooked up now. So let's grab that and let's spawn in another witter. One, two, three. Okay, let's try that out. Upper left slot, upper left, upper left, and the others are loaded. So, plop. Oh, dang it. <laughs> uh, placed it in the wrong freaking things. We set this middle row, yeah, but we didn't load them, right? Yeah, that might be a little bit of a problem. Okay, so that is done. Okay, now, oh yeah, we completely loaded it wrong. Okay, upper left. Upper left. We're gonna block the other slots later. We're gonna throw some netherrack in there or something. Okay, test. What the heck? What is going on? Something is going terribly wrong here. Place block. Yeah. What is going... Why... Why doesn't it... I mean, we could set those to always on. Actually, we don't really... Yeah, I mean, that should always be placed anyways, right? Okay. It's a bit surprising. Okay. Upper left, did we set those to... Upper left, or were they on random? Upper left, upper left. It should uh, it's, it's a bit weird. Uh, we'll see. Put that here. Put that there. Okay, let's try again. Okay, now it worked. Okay. Yeah, but we can actually. It's actually not bad if you have them to always place. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Okay, now, quick test here with this guy. Boom. Instant kill. Alright. Sweet. So that works just fine. Okay, let's throw some more heads in there. Just give me some. Let's do two. Bam bam. Bam bam. So, if somebody presses the button, the guy gets kicked up instantly to here. And as soon as he materializes, he's dead. Nice. Alright, now um, we're working on our dispensing system for our Witter Skulls. So, I have three hoppers here and they are pointing in into our top mechanical users. 
you know, the ones that are placing the heads. And if you want to have even distribution in vanilla Minecraft at least, you need at least four blocks of distance so the minecart actually travels at max speed going back and forth. So here's the hopper and then we got four more power tracks. And yeah, here we got even more. Uh, and it's an excess of that is good. So, um, yeah, made an item loader of Railcraft and get a chess card here. If you place that here, um, it will go around. Yeah, and whenever it's here, it will keep on going. What I would like be better, maybe you guys can help me out, is that the minecart would stop here and not constantly go. But it works like that too. So now, let's say we place 24 Wither Skellies skeleton heads in there. Minecart stops and it should have yeah, all the heads in there. And it will keep on going. Okay. That works fine. And we should see even distribution of these heads in here. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah. That works. Awesome. So here is our, our loading station pretty much for people. We can cover that up a bit. Like so maybe. Yeah, we have to really make this place look better. Maybe we hire Beat Up's building company <laughs> to make this place look nice um, a little bit. But yeah, this is where you place your heads in. And um, yeah, now we pretty much only need a, a button to press um, to activate the killing. So um, let's do that. Right now our redstone comes out here. So let's see, let's break through here a little bit. Yeah. I mean, could set it up that we have the button right here. Okay, guys. Aha! Look at that. Ain't she a beauty? So we got everything set up. I have a vacuum chest here with the button you have to press to spawn the witter, some signage uh, so people know what to do. Always enter multiple of, of three, press button to spawn and kill the witter. Don't spawn, uh, spam the button, wait until the witter is dead. And here, soul sand input, right there. This thing is full with soul sand and stacks the system. And right there, you put your skulls in. Boom, they're getting picked up. And you just click the button and see the magic working. Ah, beautiful. And... Kablemo. And he's dead. And all the items get sucked forward. And you can then pick up the loot. Sweet. So that works. I also have an elevator block here now. If people come out of the portal. They can quickly get up there. I haven't had time to set up a waystone yet. I definitely want to do that. Because this is obviously meant as a community build for everyone to use. Um, yeah, I'm pretty content with the system. One thing that it's lacking, of course, as of now, um, we only have our power cell back there, which has, I don't know, it should have about 18, 19 million RF still, so it will last um, to kill a few witters, but we need a power production there in the long run. So I'm thinking either I'll hook that up and remotely charge it, or, um, yeah, we, I don't know, we, we just set up a chicken lava generator also. We are here in the nether, so it should be easy to, you know, just go, go about and scoop up um, some barrels full of lava and put them back there so the thing is running um, long term. Um, so, yeah, that's that. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that whole setup. I had this one question for you. Um, is there a way to use the item loader and the, that's so the minecart doesn't always go around? But that is a, this is like a minor flaw. I mean, you know, doesn't doesn't matter at all. And I think, yeah, we can call it an end for today in this episode. Um, next time, or maybe I'll do that off camera. I'll set up a nice wither skeleton killer here. Um, let me know if there is a way um, to use our cleaver to behead them. A good way to do that. Or some upgrade for a mob grinder or whatever that can do beheading. That would be really great if you could let me know about that. And with that said... Oop.
<laughs> Dockerkin signing off. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode. Have fun replicating the setup if you um, intend to do so. Um, should be safe. I tested it many, many times and so far there was no issues. Wait, let me quickly fix that hole in the wall. It needs to be fixed. Bang, bang. So yeah, next time we set up the Witter Skelly spawner here. If we find more spawners, we could make it even more efficient. But as it was, I could get a lot of skulls. But we want to automate it further. Then we would have this nice killing chamber up here. Oh yeah, a waystone is missing. Didn't have no purple dye. I want to put that down here too somewhere. All right. Thanks for watching, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the episode. <laughs> Bye.